The immorality in this place ceased to amaze me. Now they think they're finding their fountain of youth, the older people. $8,000, you can guess which older people are doing this. There is no way people in the Black community are going to spend $8,000 to put blood in our veins. But there are people in this country that would do it. But this came out in the Business Insider, January 17th, 2019, a controversial startup that charges $8,000 to fill your vein with young blood now claims to be up and running in five cities across the U.S. That is some crazy ass shit. All these people do is think of some stupid shit to do, but let's get into this. To Jesse Carmazin, a startup founder and Stanford Medical School graduate, blood is the next big government approved drug. Roughly three years ago, Carmazin um, launched Ambrosia, a startup that fills the veins of older people with blood from younger donors hoping the procedure would help conquer aging and rejuvenating the body's organs. So again, they're chasing the fountain of youth, ladies and gentlemen. That's what these people do because, you know, they age so badly. I guess I don't blame them for looking for something because they age worse than everybody on the entire damn planet. As Business Insider previously reported, there's little to no evidence to suggest this would work. It's not working, ladies and gentlemen. This is a way for this company, Ambrosia, to rip off $8,000 a pop from people that are elderly, up in age, trying to stop the aging process because they just look so bad when they age. The company is now up and running. Carmazen, told Business Insider on Wednesday, Ambrosia recently revamped its website with a list of clinic locations and is now accepting payments for the procedure via PayPal. Two options are listed, one liter of young blood for $8,000 or two liters for $12,000. He's charging for something that ain't going to reverse aging, y'all. But he's selling it as an anti-aging process to put this blood into older people. It is just another con artist scheme. But let's go on. In the fall, Carmazin, who is a, not a licensed medical practitioner, told Business Insider he planned to open the first Ambrosia Clinic in New York City by the end of the year. That didn't happen. Instead, he said, the sites where customers can get the procedure includes Los Angeles, San Francisco, Tampa, Florida, uh, Omaha, Nebraska, and Houston, Texas. I tell you what, anybody getting this done, you are dumber than a bag of rocks. But let's go on. In 2017, Ambrosia enrolled people in a clinical trial designed to find out what happens when the veins of adults are filled with blood from younger people. While the results of the study have not been made public, Carmazin told Business Insider in September that they were really positive. There's no scientific evidence to suggest that the treatments could help anyone. And several experts who spoke to Business Insider have raised red flags. There is no way you're going to be some old dried up prune and somebody is going to put young blood into your veins and you're going to all of a sudden find your youth again. Ain't happening. Okay. <laughs> ain't happening, y'all. It ain't happening. Wow. But because the Food and Drug Administration has approved drug transfusion, Ambrosia's approach has been able to continue as an off-label treatment. 
there appears to be significant interest a week after putting up its first website. In September, the company received roughly 100 inquiries about how to get the treatment. David Cavalier, Ambrosia's chief operating officer at the time, told Business Insider in the fall that led to the creation of a waiting list, Cavalier said. In January, Cavalier told Business Insider he'd left Ambrosia, leaving Carmazin, a company uh, only public employee. So this guy, this Carmazin, I guess that's how you say his last name. I'm not sure, um, is running this whole thing on his own. And remember, he's doing something, you know, taking this blood and putting it into the veins of old people. And he's not even licensed, a a licensed medical profession. Okay. Before departing from Ambrosia, Cavalier worked with Carmazin to scout several potential clinic locations in New York and to organize talks with potential investors, he said. Ambrosia's first clinical trial because blood transfusions, and by the way, y'all, blood transfusion were created, the creation of Dr. Charles Drew, who was a black man. And he got into a car accident and was denied his own invention that could have saved his life. Look this up. Dr. Charles Drew is the creator of the blood transfusion that is saving millions of people's lives all over the globe. So he's now taking that black invention and going to make millions off of it. At least Dr. Charles Drew was a real doctor. This dude here, he is just some guy off of the street that came up with something that is not going to work. Okay, you could give me baby's blood. It's not going to turn me back into, it's not going to take years off of my life. It's unrealistic for anybody to believe that. You are literally just giving this man eight to $12,000 of your money for nothing. You're not going to get anything out of this blood. But let's go on. Okay. Because blood transfusions are already approved by federal regulators, Ambrosia does not need to demonstrate that its treatment carries significant benefits before offering it to customers. As of September, the company had infused close to 150 people, ranging from age 35 to 92. So there are some idiots out here that believe this shit's going to work. It's not going to work, y'all. With the blood of younger donors, Cavalier said, those of 81 participated in its clinical trial. The trial, which involved giving patients 1.5 liters of plasma from a donor between the ages of 16 to 25 over two days, was conducted with David Wright, a physician who owns a private intravenous therapy center in Monterey, California, before and after infusion. Participants' blood was tested for a handful of biomarkers or measurable biological substances and processes uh, thought to provide a snapshot of health and disease. Wow. Trial participants paid $8,000, the same price as one of the procedures now listed on Ambrosia's website. Sorry, y'all, got uh, disrupted, Um, never fails. The trial was an investigational study, Cavalier said in September. We saw some interesting things and we do plan to uh, publish that data. And we want to begin to open clinics where the treatment 
will be made available. Okay, so, you know, of course, the guy that owns it that's not medically licensed is going to say the results were great and all that because he wants to make money. He wants to get this $8,000 to $12,000 pop from these older people that he's getting the money from. Okay, so he's saying it looks um, optimistic and has a range of benefits. Um, he got the idea from, uh, for his company as a medical student at Stanford and an intern at the National Institute on Aging, where he watched dozens of traditional blood transfusions uh, performed safely. Some patients got young blood and others got older blood. And I was able to do some statistics on that and the results look really awesome. Well, this guy is just trying to make, I'm telling you, there ain't no way young blood is going to do all of that to uh, somebody real old. It is just not. But nevertheless, apparently people are believing him. He had 150 patients that already lined up to and got this done. And the clinics are opening up, which is baffling to me, but... I guess we are going to see anything in these last days. But please tell me what you think, ladies and gentlemen. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.